Getting off to a flying start as the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? We're live next on EA TV. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And today, it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Ukraine, and they take on Belgium. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Anticipating a really good game, though, Derek. Hope we're not disappointed. Mikhailo Mudrik. An alert piece of defending. So here is the lineup. Well, in this 4 5 1, they're packing their midfield, but the two wide players will almost play as out and out wingers. However, it's important they do get runners from central areas to support the centre forward. That's going to be key. The starting players for Belgium. Well, I'm just a little worried. They might be too negative here. They're certainly going to be hard to break down with that five-man midfield. But will they have enough going the other way? I'm not sure. Carrasco. It's with Aurel Mongala. De Bruyne. Arthur Teat. De Bruyne now. Vertonghen. It's with Aurel Mongala. De Bruyne. Oh, great defending. Well, the thing about Belgium is you've always got to take them seriously. I know we've been saying that for a while, haven't we? They're among the favourites when it comes to major tournaments. And I wonder, could this be the year, Stuart? Well, I think that was the case for the 2020 European Championships. They were the favourites, in my view, and they were sent home by Italy in that great game. So I don't think they're quite so good at the moment. I think this will be a struggle for them, although I do think they'll win their group. So with a slightly new generation and lowered expectations, maybe this time? Well, if they are to be successful, their key players have got to play well. They've got to have a good team spirit. And if they do all those things, they might have a good tournament. Well, this could rip. Is it going to be? In it goes! The call for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So the action underway again, and the onus is on Belgium to come up with a response now. Vertonghen. Arthur Teat. A really effective shielding under pressure. Teat. Vertonghen with it. Fass. Amadou Onana. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Artem Dovbik. Chance to do damage. Stepanenko. He read the situation defensively and did his job.
Viktor Tsigankov. Tsigankov. And with the advantage, no reason why you shouldn't play keep ball. Fine build up as they look to add to their advantage. And he saw the situation developing. De Bruyne. Or couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Alexander Zinchenko. Mikhailo Mudrik. Now, let's see what they can do here. Now, Zinchenko. And space to cross it. Very quick thinking there. Well, they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. <laughs> Delivering it. The clearance wasn't decisive. Doing everything possible to keep possession. And defensive play to be applauded. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Zinchenko must score! Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Lukaku. Well, no stopping him. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. possibilities in the centre more than decent passing sequences but they need a leveller well I think a classic commentator's curse just then couldn't make the ideal pass Konoplia Viktor Tsigankov just the challenge that was required Lukaku. Mongala. De Bruyne. Big chance! And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Matvienko on the ball, Tara Stepanenko. Not showing good patience. Well, nothing comes of it. Referee indicates goal kick. Pass. Vertonghen. Jeremy Doku. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass.
Matvienko. Zabarni. Now a decent position. Can he give them the lead? And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage! Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal. But I thought his overall contribution was really good, and he got better as the half wore on. And underway once more, with Belgium looking to find a route back into this game. Providing width. Lukaku. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Dovbik. Artem Dovbik. Sigankov. Spot on with that tackle. Matvienko, Sudakov, nice weight on the pass, oh it's in, a two goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. Well, here we can see it again. It's a beautifully weighted ball behind the back line. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne couldn't keep the ball. Can they hit on the break? Well, this could really help the cause. Opportunity. Try to line it up, but off the woodwork. Well, relief for the goalkeeper. That looked as though it was going in to me. Amadou Onana. De Bruyne now. 
Onana. A very good tackle. Mudrik. 30 minutes left for play. High pressing and good high pressing. Could get themselves back into it. Thwarting him. It should be. Oh, magnificent reaction. Well, another wonderful save to add to his portfolio. Going well. And just losing control of the ball. And it will be a throw-in. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw-in here. Stepanenko. Yorhi Sudakov. Not giving him a moment's peace. Dogbik. Well, spot on with that challenge. Vertonghen. Fass. Castagne. De Bruyne now. Fass. Mongala. He's protecting it effectively. Trossard. Carrasco. Now Lukaku. Cutting it back. Losing possession. Vertonghen. Mongala. Carrasco. Can he get one back? Oh, he's given it. The referee says penalty. And an opportunity for them to pull one back here. And into the book he goes too. Well, once he gave the penalty, he was always going to give him a yellow card. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. And this to reduce the deficit. And there it is, perfectly executed. Well, here it is again, great composure to send the keeper the wrong way before striking it into the opposite side. That's an excellent penalty. So Belgium just one behind now, and you sense the momentum may actually be with them. Matvienko, Malinowski. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Carrasco. Very quick thinking there. How can he take them on and beat them? Really fine piece of defending play to break us up.
Ten minutes left for play. Well, keeping the ball in this manner can be very effective. Late in the game here, and they know what they've got to do. And making sure there was no danger in the end. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? And can they prize them open now? Mongala. Openda. Trossard. On to Lukaku. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Using his strength to shield the ball. Sudakov. Counter attacking, very much an option. Stepanenko. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Teat. Here's Tielemans. Carrasco on the attack in the closing phase. Vertonghen. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Lukaku. This could be the equaliser. No nonsense clearance. Pass. De Bruyne now. Lukaku. The final whistle has sounded, and Ukraine have done it. They've got the victory here. And Stuart, I wonder what you've made of their performance. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall, they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win.